YouTube. So today is my very first video on YouTube. Today, um, I will be posting, I'll try to post um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. Maybe Fridays too, but I don't know. Anyways, um, before we get started with today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications bell. Today, we will be uh, reviewing good and bad hamster products. Let's get started. So, first up, we have this, like, ice cream cone thing. It has honey in the top. You can get these at Walmart, but I do not suggest these. Um, they're, um, they have, well, They have dried orange peel in them, and oranges are bad for hamsters. Um, what else do they? They have a bunch of like words that you can't really pronounce. Um, so that means that's probably not good. But yeah, it has a bunch of honey in it. But if you do want to give one of these to your hamsters for some reason, you can get them at Walmart, which I would not suggest to. Um, give to your hamsters. Next is this. This is full of honey and honey is terrible for hamsters. Um, you may think, oh, it's good. The store has it. All stores aren't like right or safe for hamsters. Um, yeah. And next are um, treats that look like this that you can find at Meyer, PetSmart, Walmart, wherever you like to go. Um, I do recommend them like once or two a month, a month, because um, you can get your hamster diabetes and yes, hamsters can get diabetes. Um, the next thing are like, you know, like those yogurt baby puffs, um, like these things right here, those little drops. I mean, yeah, yogurt drops. I did not mean to say baby puffs. These are good, um, one a month or two and then next is baby puffs they have to be gerber gerber is the way to go like two month because they're really sweet and full sugar and then next is um these dried strawberries they're really good oxbow is amazing i love their brand um this is also good for guinea pigs but if you want like something for guinea pigs um don't get the freeze dry. This is only for like hamsters and stuff. And then let's see the next thing: water bottle. You can either have a water bottle or a bowl. Um. Yeah, and make sure that this thing right here always works. That's something that's good for hamsters. This cute little cupcake. Yeah, this cute little cupcake. Um. I don't really think I'd recommend it. I haven't gave my hamster one of these before she passed. She passed yesterday, so um, I never got a chance to give it to her. I got a few things for her for her birthday, um, but anyways, talk about that later in a different video. Um, yeah, I do recommend these, but probably not the sprinkles. I'd pick off the sprinkles so they don't choke on those. Next are these cute little um, ice cream mineral chews. They're just like the cupcake, but they're ice cream thing. I would recommend these. Just make sure to like put the little wire off that's inside of them. Um, yeah. So the next thing are hides. Um, make sure I have like three plus hides. Um, something in there okay don't mind the insides they're really gross um hides are really good this is like a good dust bath area for hamsters um not for any other animals though except for like mice and gerbils because they can fit in that next is one of these um it's colored wood which i do not recommend um as you can see, it has stained some of the other wood, like right there. 
and then down here. So this gets wet. See, it's gotten wet, as you can tell. There's blue all everywhere, which is bad. Um, I do not recommend this. Not and then, tubes. I recommend these tubes, Tiny Tails. A great tubes. Do not get KT. I don't, I'm, those barely fit to anything. They, you can only connect them to, um, like those KT cages. Um, these tubes, amazing. Like $12 for 24 pieces or something. And you can also connect them to a seesaw, which is really cute. I really like this. You can get a bunch of like cute stuff. And um, as you can see, I don't have a cage for her when she lived. Um, I had a like bucket, or that's not a bucket, what is it? A bin. 250 square inches, I think. And then one more type of tree. Oh. Last thing um, is a ball. No. No. This is an absolute no. Um, I do not recommend these balls. Um, they can get their nails stuck in here and that could easily rip out a nail. Um, Hamsters don't show feelings, emotions, or anything, so you can't tell, like, when they're stressed, or, well, I guess you could, but you can't tell if they're hurting or anything. Like, something happened to my hamster, um, we're not gonna talk about that, um, but I didn't see any emotion or anything. I thought she was fine until I learned later that they don't show emotion or anything. So, yeah. That's it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It is my first video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!